I wish I'd known the possible lifelong consequences of giving birth, even if they are relatively rare. I knew about urinary incontinence, but had never heard of bowel incontinence. This is why I'm telling my story now. After I gave birth to my daughter, I lived with faecal incontinence for about four years before I went back to my GP for help. Initially, in my postnatal care, I didn't feel listened to. When I eventually went back to the GP, they ordered the scan that showed I had an anal sphincter injury, which I'd suffered when giving birth to my baby. I still had not come to terms with my bowel incontinence when I was pregnant with my second child. But by the third trimester, I was suffering constant leakage. My community midwife was lovely when I cried on her shoulder. <laughs> and she squeezed me into the next consultant clinic. The clinician was absolutely lovely and listened to me cry and ask for an elective section. They said yes. Compared to my first delivery, the birth was a dream experience. <laughs> While it was very clinical and unpleasant, by four weeks postpartum, I felt fully healed and I wasn't experiencing any pain. I had no problems bonding with my daughter and went on to breastfeed her for 12 months and I could sit down. <laughs> by the time I was pregnant with my third child, I was still anxious about telling people that I had an anal sphincter injury. The obstetrician was quite abrupt about why they thought I needed a cesarean section, asking if I had a problem with bowel continence. I replied, not if I'm close to the toilet, <laughs> desperately hoping they'd read into my answer. Daft. But I still wasn't in a place to admit it yet. My injury affects most of my daily life. Something as simple as eating a takeaway pizza on a Friday night might mean I have an accident five times the following day. I've been forced to cancel plans and disappoint my children by not taking them to meet their friends. Sometimes my life has to revolve around not leaving the house. In order to try to manage my symptoms, I'm very careful with what I eat and use anal irrigation. But this is very tricky with three young children and sometimes even that has no effect if I've eaten something that really disagrees with me. If I'm good with my diet and the irrigation, I can minimise the times I soil myself, but I always have to think about it. If I'm out, I plan where the toilets are, how many there are, and how long it might take me to get to them. I must always have a contingency plan. Clean clothes and wipes, just in case. It's also a matter of how many children I have with me and if I can disguise any accident from the older two. It's been 10 years since I suffered this injury and I still take every day as it comes. My advice to others is to pick yourself up, clean yourself off and live hour by hour. Each hour with no accidents is a big bonus.